Hey guys, hey -o. welcome back to Inverted Reality. I'm James. This is Jake. Jake is playing it's Just Cause 3 today. Uh, kind of sort of a let's play. Um, so like let's review. Play. Let's review. We're gonna we're gonna call it a let's review. I I I was really excited. Oops. Boy, I do that way more often than hey, look at that. You almost be my personal best. Farthest difference traveled in uh, Ragdoll. Yeah, mine's really far from like falling down cliffs. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine. Um, James, so you got a little time behind the wheel of this game. Yeah, 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 I've played a little bit. It's uh, it's locked up, not locked up on me. There was one time I got stuck inside a building. Uh, one time I got stuck in an infinite loading screen. Um, all very you know annoying things. Um, just watching you like move through this, I can see what I'm gonna be like after I play a couple more hours. Yeah. So you saw you already passed my personal best. Yeah, here. my longest time there. The one when I actually was online for leaderboards. Um, was like five minutes. Oh, man. All right, I hear nice. the sounds of this city yep. having not been taken over. It would appear this, that that's that right there is a perfect start of what Just Cause 3 is like. Yeah, yeah, it's... Oh, man. I mean, it does a lot of things right. I think that's it important to remember. very fun to play. Let's start yeah. with some positives. It is okay, really positive. fun to play. I've played Ding. quite a bit of this game. Um, I spent... Quite a bit of time over the weekend. I didn't know you could put down two tethers. Yes, I have four tethers now. That explains quite a bit of the issues. Break them. Having. But yep. like, for me, back out of here. I have this whole area liberated. I have wow. most of this area liberated. There's a lot. This is a lot bigger game than I thought it was. So there's a lot to do. Yeah, and it can seem repetitive. Um, it's an open world it, game. It's, it's an open world gonna, game. Happen. If you kind of just let your you know, yourself get drug into it. Yeah. Nope. Oh, this is a single shotgun? I, I yes, really yes. like the um, the aspect of liberating a town. Uh, I think it'll be a little bit better once I start to recognize the icons on the side. Yeah. I find myself having to pause and go into my menu a lot to figure yeah. it out. Yeah, so like the top one, doesn't matter. Um, yeah. yeah. You kind of just look at the landmarks right here. So it's like, I heard the speakers, I know the speakers are here. Right, exactly. And so that's one of the big ones. It looks yeah. like there's And there's a variety of different ways you can do this. Like, I'm going through in here and doing it by hand. If yeah. I had a helicopter that had the missiles on it, I could run through with helicopter that's true. and just shoot everything. Yeah, sometimes I like to use the RPG on the speakers. Is it overkill? Yes. Do I care? Yes. No. This game is not about subtlety. This game's stealth. all about overkill. Um, which yeah, there's no way to do stealth anything, which no. is kind of... Beautiful. It's perfect. Um, yeah, in terms of the gameplay itself um, and what they're trying to get you with this chaos, um, I think it's really great for it. Yeah. One of my big concerns, I don't know if it's concern, but I think when you're doing this segment, it would be cool to have like car chase type music, like high energy, like yeah. intense stuff. I mean, it happens once they recognize you. Right. Like this. But I mean, it's just, there's yeah, yeah. not like the intense feeling that you. I feel like you should be getting in something like this. It feels almost casual when you're yeah. blowing up town. Which is uh, funny, like, you'd be tearing down towers right in front of them, and they won't chase you. Right. Not that I'm complaining. Hey, yeah. There you go. Hey, there's the... Uh, yeah, these thing. little leaderboards are kind of cool, but it brings to mind one of the main problems with this game. Oops! Oh, no. Sorry, young citizen. <laughs> That's amazing. My favorite, I love when you, like, oops, hook a citizen or kill a citizen, he goes, That's a bad look. <laughs> It is pretty good. One thing I liked in the when they were talking about the story, then we get back to that was when he, he when they were talking to you about just do whatever you want to do, and anything you destroy we can rebuild. I'm like, that's that's fun. That's exciting yeah. to me. But you said this game it was is like purpose built for you. Should yeah. it work? It really is. Like oh, that's see, like that needs to go. Yeah, I mean it's it's you know propaganda machine. It looks very obvious that it should go. Defeating that specific that guy individual. needs to die. Oh, captain. There you go. Um, I like the gunplay. I'm surprised yeah. at how much I like the gunplay. kind of good. I had to turn the sensitivity down, which is odd for me. Yeah. I know, like, you also play with high sensitivity. Yeah. But it's, it's not like a mm -hmm. precision first person shooter. No. And it's very much even, a third person, like, ridiculous. No, you like, aim down the sights. No, it, it just kind of, like, snaps to whatever. Yeah, really well. You got a couple down in front of you. Yeah. Your heat level's getting it quick. Probably because you're murdering a lot of people. Oops. Uh, yeah, so happen. those are some of the positives. Um, story is very basic which I think is they don't let the story get in the way no. which I think is good the stories are right now that I've dug into the story a little yeah. bit and it's kind of like yeah I mean I get it but I'm not really invested in it I don't really care mm -hmm. I think there's a helicopter nearby yep or so what's 
What's some of your uh, like concerns or maybe negative parts about this game? Um, tons of loading screens and oh. terrible, terrible frame rate. Yep. That was a problem for it when the game came out, and everybody knew that. Yeah. Like, that was the one. Th everybody's like, all right, don't get it. Like the frame rate's awful. Yeah. It's like okay. And so I thought now, two years later, surely they've patched surely it it's out of the game. Better. And it just takes nothing to get this game to start. Look at that, it's chugging. It's chugging. And I know, like, I'm putting a lot of explosions on screen, but for a game whose main selling point is explosions... Yeah. I mean, we should, should be, able be to dealing do this. with, like, 15 and 20... I also hate that when I get knocked out of a helicopter, I can't just start parachuting. Yeah. It's the little things. Yeah, I mean, that was the... When I was looking up as we were... We knew... That, oh, that's gross. Um, when we were looking up before on... We knew this was a PlayStation Plus title. Yeah. Curious about the performance issues and frame rate issues if they were still there. Oh, there we go. And I couldn't really find like a bunch of definitive sources that say yes, July 2017, still there, still happening, it's bad. Um, a lot of it's Reddit is always a good source for a lot of different opinions. Yeah. Some people said it was good, some people said they didn't even notice it, didn't have any issues. Uh, I find it hard to believe that no one notices the performance. I drops would believe here. that from people that just like, if you only play Just Cause, like, this is your game that you buy in a year. You just get used to it. You just, like, this is what you're used to. Like, you're used to games that perform this way, and you let it slide. Like, hey, this was my $60 I could spend for the year, Yeah. and I'm going to enjoy the crap out of it because it's the only thing that I have. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's definitely not... It's it's worse than I expected. I thought it was maybe overblown. There oh it goes! My Look at it! There it goes! I think I counted each frame. That's not good. It's bad when there's more seconds than frames involved. That's uh, it's bad because like those explosions weren't even on. Screen. I don't love the motion blur. I wish you could turn it off. Um, yeah, motion blur bad. makes it worse. I think if you could turn that off, I think it might be compounded by the fact that we're sitting three I'm feet away from the TV. Over. Yeah. If we were sitting back in the chairs, it'd be better. But yeah, it would um, be. So if you're sitting there and you haven't picked it up for PlayStation Plus and you're wondering uh, if the performance issue is bad as everyone says it is, it yes, is. they are. It's not good. Maybe I've heard that the PS4 Pro can be better, especially with the boost mode. Um, I don't think they did like specific well, I enhancements. Shouldn't need it. Um, but it, they, they're still it's still not perfect. It's still a problem uh, that should have been addressed by now. Oh yeah. We shouldn't be talking about it two years later with you the same issues. You got it. So that's and you've had some problems that I haven't had. You've yeah. had some forced, yeah. I was one. I had a uh, I did an explosion on one of the town liberation things, and I uh, for whatever reason, like it blew me inside of a building that you can't get in. Ding. So then I couldn't get out of it. It was just like locked in, like out out of texture and all this crap. And um, so that was annoying. I had to close out and then um, come back in, and then I had, had lost like a bunch of progress again. Um, I have made quite the mess. <laughs> right after I first started, I Here's what um, do. was transitioning between cutscenes because they would have loading screen, cutscene, loading screen, cutscene, yeah. loading screen, walk over it's here. Very poor setup. Um, and I know it, it gets better as you play more because you don't have. Um, I mean, there's less cutscenes because you're yeah, just playing the game. Yeah, there's significantly less cutscenes as you go. Yeah, so it's. I know it's an intro thing, Rose. but I got stuck in a loading screen and I looked over and it just. I was like, okay, I've heard about slow load times. Um, you know, no big deal. And then I checked my watch, and it, I just got on Reddit, and I'd been on there five minutes, and it was still sitting there. Oh, jeez. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like, I shouldn't... It's obviously was broken, so then I quit, and I had to do the entire intro again. So you remember we played the oh, intro yeah. for our review? I had to do the whole thing again. Oh, my goodness. Which isn't bad, because it's fun. And, and you had to kind of pay attention without having epic. to try and be entertaining at the same yeah, time. Yeah, and so it was a really good time, but I was still just annoyed. Yeah. Um, so it's little things like that. I would be annoyed if I paid for it. I think if I got this at launch, and it was still like this before, yeah, then um, you know I might feel differently. Um, but as as it stands now, getting it for free, um, yeah. I maybe would have rented it from Family Video for a night for like three bucks. Um, so I can't say I would have bought this game outside of PlayStation Plus. Like I don't think I would. Knowing have what I know now, um, I don't even think I'd recommend you buy it. Performance issues if just If you have PlayStation me. Plus, by all means, get it. Yeah, go for but it. If you can look past it, I mean, it it looks really bad to me right yeah. now, but we just got off of, like, recording Portal Nights. Yeah, so that game really is clear. running great. And it has some frame rate issues, but that's part of being online. Yeah. But it was like a frame rate glitch. Yeah. Is the difference. A $20 game with a frame rate glitch is forgivable. Yeah. A $60 game with frame rate issues is not. Yeah, exactly. 
So I will continue to play this, um, but we kind of made we wanted to make this uh, just to give you an idea, you know, pros and cons, like everything on the board, what the game is still like. So I'm gonna finish. No risk to playing breaking it. Breaking this town down. Um, yeah, might as well. Because we're here, later. you know. There's the yeah. last billboard. I was gonna say that's that's it. I do. I love the navigation. It is fun. Navigation is fun. Like it is a fun game. Like I said, I've spent a ton of time with it. Yeah. I mean, by a ton, we're we talking like a couple hours. We're we talking like ten or fifteen hours. Um, right? like ten to fifteen hours. Okay, like easily. Are you I gonna finish it? Like, you think? I might. <laughs> it depends on what comes out. Yeah. Like, if something comes out that I can play in between there, right? This is a good then, like. Then I'll back, drop it. Come back to it, kind of game. Yeah, because I can. You know, this is the kind of game you come back to. It's not hard to pick up. Yeah. I can just kind of run in, and I can go from this like heat level two. Even if I had heat level five, if I hit this button, it's gone. Right. Which is not like a complaint. There's literally like, there's a like a helicopter. And it's just... And you unlock stuff, and that's liberating a typical town. But... I like it. It's an yeah. interesting um, concept of how they do it. And every town's different. It gives you a lot of different opportunities. Yeah. A lot and of different carnage. Bases that aren't like towns, so you can go in yeah. and like break a whole base part. Like, at the end of the day, like the base part of the game is really good, but just... All the things around it just slow it down and pull it back, and it's like, all right, this isn't worth buying. If you can get it for yeah. twenty bucks on a sale, cool. If you have PlayStation Plus in the month of August, if this is after August, then you, well, you missed out and you didn't miss out at the same time. That's true. So I've seen it pretty low on sales. Maybe if you found like a, yeah, I, there's definitely not a game of the year edition, but if you found like with all the DLC, because there's a ton of like really small DLC packs for it. Yeah, um, it might be worth it. But I mean, I think over ten bucks, even I would say, don't bother. Yeah, you can watch the gameplay and get a kick out of it, watching it. And if yeah. you really think that you can handle, like, literally, I mean, we just saw it. I don't know how well it'll translate to the video, but like, like, that, that's an average town, at least for me, that's like an a, average encounter. That was like a five to ten frame rate, right? Like five yeah. to ten <laughs> FPS <laughs> right there. Like, it was nasty, it's so bad. It, it looked like it was buffering. I thought the video was buffering, and I'm in the video, <laughs> so. Uh, if, if if we decide to do this, if you guys want us to do a little bit more technical reviews like this on stuff that comes out, um, let us know. We're, we're always looking for feedback. Um, but thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time. Bye.